Hello and welcome back to Stacey Chantel Skincare Channel or welcome here if you are new. I have a question for you. Has your skin ever felt both dry and oily at the same time? And have you wondered how can this be? I'm here to tell you that you're not going crazy, that there is such a thing, but let me explain to you why you're feeling both dry and oily at the same time. So first of all, those are skin conditions and it does not necessarily determine your skin type as either oily or dry. Skin types are identified mainly by pore size. If you have large pores overall and accompanied with excess oil production, you're likely to have an oily skin type. But if you have small pores throughout your whole face and you lack oil production, that means you have a dry skin type. And if you have large pores in your T-zone and kind of around the cheeks here too, with dryness everywhere else or small, small pores everywhere else, then you're likely to have an oily skin type. Again, to confirm your skin type, always go see a professional. So how can the skin be both oily and dry? From my experience and years of working with clients in the facial room, a theme that I've noticed is people's skin become dehydrated and the skin needs both water and oil to stay healthy. And their skin then lacks hydration, lacks the water, so it overproduces oil to compensate for that loss. And so now people are experiencing a lot of oiliness and they want to get rid of that oiliness. So they use very drying products to dry up that oiliness. But then the skin still doesn't have hydration, but now you're stripping the oil as well. And so now you are causing dryness, surface dryness on the skin. So that dryness you're feeling is actually surface dryness. It's temporary. Basically, your products are way too drying on your skin, way too stripping of all the oils and all the um, hydration and all the good stuff of your skin. It strips it all away and it creates like a dry textured film over your skin. So now to the touch, it feels dry, but underneath you're still producing oil because again, you still don't have that hydration and the skin needs that hydration. So again, it overproduces oil. So it kind of traps the oil in a sense under the skin, depending how severe the surface dryness is. It ends up clogging the pores and you may notice more breakouts, especially like in those oily zones. Good news, it is fixable. So if this scenario that I just explained sounds like you, then listen to these steps of how to fix it. So first of all, stop using a foaming cleanser. Foaming cleansers are really drying to the skin and you know, they take away too much oil. Sure, you wanna take away some of that oil buildup and you know, residue buildup on your skin, but you don't wanna take everything out. Our skin still needs its natural oils and some oil in the skin. So foaming cleansers are a no-go. Opt for a like gentle gel cleanser because it will still help with the oil reduction but it's also gonna hydrate the skin, which again, is super important. A good hydrating cleanser that I recommend would be either the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Cleanser. I have a whole video about that cleanser and why it is the best cleanser ever. I'll try to link it in the description. Anyways, that would be my top recommendation as well as the Stone Crop Gel Wash. That one is also really hydrating, but it does a good job of cleaning the skin. Once you've used a proper cleanser, then exfoliate the skin. You want to basically break up all the surface dryness that you have on your skin. Um, you do that with an exfoliant. I would prefer to use a physical exfoliant for this just because it's gonna really help to reduce the texture in the skin. My favorite exfoliant to use in the treatment room with my clients who have surface dryness is the strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant or the almond and mineral treatment. The strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant is uh, a rice powdered dry exfoliant that you mix together with water to create a paste and then you just work it in circular motions on the skin and then rinse off. The almond and mineral treatment however that is one of Eminence stimulants so basically it generates warmth in the skin so not only is it going to warm up the skin and bring blood flow, oxygen, um, help to draw out impurities from the skin, help with muscle tone, um, it really does a lot of benefits for the skin, but it also has a physical exfoliant in it and it is a cream base also. Um, so it's really nice to help again with that surface dryness, just soften the skin as well as physically buff away that dryness and that layer that I told you about. All right, and now that you've exfoliated, 
hydrate your skin. Like I already said, our skin needs both water and oil, and since our skin naturally produces oil for the most part, then we need that extra hydration in our skin. We need to supplement it into our skin. And so use a hydrating uh, serum, treatment, moisturizer, anything like that. Something with a very um, light and hydrating base to it to again, lock in the hydration in your skin so that your skin is healthy and balanced. My top recommendation for that one would be probably the Lotus Detoxifying Overnight Treatment. Um, that one's really hydrating to the skin as well as it just keeps the skin soft and detoxes it and just infuses it with all the good nutrients. And I would follow that up with a light moisturizer just to again, lock in everything. Air molecules want to steal water from our skin. So just lock in the hydration with a good moisturizer. My favorite at the moment is the Rosehip Whip Moisturizer from Eminence Organic Skincare. It's mattifying, it's healing, it's hydrating. So after doing all these steps, your skin should feel a lot better. It should feel uh, like you have less texture, less dryness, less oiliness. Your skin should feel soft and more balanced. And you know, in saying that also, skincare is always a journey, so results vary for everybody, but I believe that your skin will notice improvements by doing these steps. All right, so that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you, as well as comment down below anything that you learned today. I'll link all the products that I recommend in the video today in the description box. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have an awesome rest of your week. Bye, wishing you joy and peace.